All right, guys, welcome. Uh, we are going to be doing the Implementing Cisco Secure Access Solutions course this week. Uh, and uh, primarily this course is really just focused on Cisco Identity Services Engine. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, some major topics with ICE, Cisco ICE. What is Identity Services? What is 802.x and Extensible Authentication? Uh, you know, these are different tools that we can use to provide threat mitigation through different identity services. We'll talk about, um, you know, how to set up ICE uh, initially, a kind of a basic setup for Cisco Identity Services Engine. We'll look at an overview of the technology itself, take a look at uh, the public key infrastructure, uh, X.509 v3 certificates, uh, CSR certificate signing requests, and so on. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, Cisco ICE authentication components, uh, looking at rule-based authentication, uh, compound, compound conditions that we can use for authentication. Uh, then we'll take a look at Cisco ICE external authentication, integrating things uh, or integrating ICE into things like Active Directory, uh, the different Active Directory models that we have, how can we join Active Directory, uh, and so on. That will be kind of the first module and then in the second module we'll start to look at advanced access control mechanisms. Uh, you know certificate based user authentication, authorization using different rules, uh, rule matching conditions, downloadable ACLs, authorization profiles and policies. Then we're going to jump into Cisco TrustSec and MacSec uh, defining different uh, security group tag classifications, looking at the you know the SG firewall components, uh, ICE and network access control devices, and you know various components of uh, not only security group tags and security group ACLs, but also Mac security, MacSec, MacSec, MacSec cryptography, uh, and so on. Uh, that'll kind of conclude that module. And then we're going to jump into module number four, which is web authentication and guest access. Uh, we'll take a look at deploying web auth. Uh, what is web authentication? What are some different web auth scenarios that we might go through? Uh, we'll set up a switch for Cisco a web auth and then look at Mac authentication bypass if the devices don't support web authentication and so on. We'll take a look at deploying guest services. Uh, and that'll conclude that module. Uh, and then we're gonna jump into module number five, which is endpoint access control enhancements, deploying posture services, deploying profiling services. Uh, what are we gonna do with BYOD? There's actually quite a few questions on the exam about BYOD, bring your own device, and how do we do device registration, client provisioning, uh, what, what is the SSID for BYOD? Uh, and then that'll conclude that module, and then we'll get into module number six, which is access control troubleshooting, right? How do we troubleshoot radius? What is TCP dump? Troubleshooting authentication, 802.1x, and so on. So that's what we wrap up the course with. Uh, and, um, you know, it's a good set of uh, concepts that we're going to go through, but basically this is... Cisco ICE in a nutshell. Um, that's what this course is totally focused on uh, is the Cisco Identity Services Engine. We know it's the Implementing Cisco, Secure, uh, Cisco Security Access Solutions course. Uh, obviously, basically what I talked about is, is what we're gonna be covering. Uh, concepts of uh, including different authentication methods, 802.1x, a Mac authentication bypass, what we call MAB, uh, web authentication, uh, and we're just going to learn about all of the different components, not only from the server side, you know, looking at the identity services engine, but we're also going to look at it from the infrastructure side, and we're going to look at it from the client side as well, what we call the supplicant side, <clears throat> and what are the different types of uh, what are the different types of options that we have for the supplicant, uh, and so on. All right. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. As far as what you need to know uh, to be able to come into this class, not a whole lot. I mean, uh, it's one of the things that uh, you should be somewhat familiar with is, is the concept of just basic 802.1x. But you know, we're gonna cover quite a bit. Uh, one of the most important aspects of this course, uh, although it's not tested on every, nearly as heavily as you would expect, but 
is understanding all of the different extensible authentication methods that can be used in conjunction with 802.1x. 802.1x itself is not actually extensible authentication, but we can use EAP in conjunction with that. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, it's a good uh, um, kind of a very technical discussion that we'll be going through, but it's a, a very interesting discussion nonetheless. Uh, and then, you know, just a basic CCNA slash CCNA security level is, is good for this class. As I said, the objective of this course is really just deploying the Cisco Identity Services Engine, implementing 802.1x, MAC Authentication Bypass, deploying Security Group Access and MAC Security, implementing things like WebAuth and Guest Services, how do we do pro posture assessments and profiling, uh, and um, you know how do we deploy that, that concept, and then implementing the profiling component as well. Now this is normally a five-day class. Uh, we are going to be working to try and compress this into about a four-day class. Uh, but you can see the different topics that we're going to be, be talking about um, today. Right? For day one, uh, we're going to start with the course, what we're doing now, which is the course introduction. We're going to take a look at uh, threat mitigation. Uh, kind of a general discussion right? Uh, when we talk about threat mitigation through identity services. Ideally what we're talking about in that case is what is, uh, what are the services that ICE provides and so on. We'll continue on that uh, topic after the lunch break and then we're going to get into Cisco ICE fundamentals in the afternoon. We'll continue that on day number two. Uh, we we'll probably hopefully we'll be able to finish ICE fundamentals in day one uh, so that we can make up some time but we're going to look at advanced access control uh, that's a big section. Web authentication and guest access. Not really a huge section, but obviously there's a lot of components to that as well. Endpoint access control, uh, and then finally access control troubleshooting. So those are essentially the six modules that we'll be going through. Module 1, threat mitigation. Module 2, ICE fundamentals. Module 3, uh, uh, advanced access control. Module 4, web authentication and guest access. Module 5, Endpoint Access Control and Enhancements, and then finally Module 6, which is Troubleshooting. All right. As you guys are probably aware, you've been through several of my classes before, and you've obviously maintained several different Cisco certifications. Uh, you're probably aware that uh, you know, there is a website that you can track all your certifications from, cisco.com slash go slash certification and you can track your progress. I know you guys have some active certifications presently so as soon as you take and pass the first exam you will renew all of your professional level as well as your associate level certifications for another uh, five, uh, three years. And then I know Andy you're also looking at uh, continuing education for your CISSP so I believe that we we concluded that this will uh, account for what about 50 hours 30 to 50 hours I can't remember the exact number but uh, should help you get your continuing education all right yeah that's a uh, yeah. I'm going to the uh, ISC2 uh, security Congress oh okay to make up whatever I don't get out of this this class okay makes yeah. sense makes sense all right um, and you guys know that this is a uh, professional level certification Obviously, it's four different classes. We split up the class into two seven-day sessions uh, because people can't, they don't want to listen to me for 14 days, number one. But uh, it's difficult to get off out of, out of work for, for two full weeks. So uh, we are doing essentially SISAS, which is Secure Access Solutions, and SITCS, which is the Threat Control Solutions uh, course. The, the other half, I think, Michael, you've already done the first half, right? Yeah, and Andy, you haven't done the first half yet, have you? No. All right. So then in the first half, we talk about essentially all of the Cisco ASA stuff, right? Cisco Edge Network Security Solutions, which is essentially v VPN, basically. Uh, perimeter security and VPN. Uh, excuse me, just perimeter security and, and um, threat detection, uh, threat mitigation at the edge of the network. And then secure mobile mobility solutions is the VPN component of the course. but So it's four different uh, exams that you have to take in order to uh, complete this, this particular course. 
So basically that's the introduction to the course. Uh, lots and lots of good information that we're going to be covering throughout the course. Um, let's go ahead and just go jump right into module number one, which is threat mitigation through identity services. Uh, in this module, we'll talk about lots of different things, uh, you know, kind of setting the table for what we're going to be discussing throughout the whole week.